Mills Young here, part of Tony Picks. And we're about to go over the fights that finished and the fights that's going the distance, okay? Now look, if you guys want to see my exclusive picks, my premium picks, this is what you need to do. Make sure you hit the link below and sign up because I'm hitting the books all over the head this week. Last week, we killed it. We went 10 and 3. I mean, we hit all on our predictions as well uh, on all our premium picks. So let's go ahead. We want to rotate the same type of energy for this week. Man, we got some good fights to talk about. It's going down in Edmonton, Canada, okay? Happy Halloween! It's going to be spooky. It's going to be scary. The reason why is because a lot of these fights... <sighs> There are not a lot of big names and there are not a lot of, you know, good odds that you guys can get back and, 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 and back and feel good about. But look, if we're going to do one thing, we're going to definitely put you on some winners here and give you guys my predictions and picks on which fights to play that's going to finish and which fights that we think are going to go the distance. All right, the first fight of the night. Let's go ahead and get it started. We got Jamie Lynn Horth, okay? She's going to be st uh, stepping up in this one, taking on Ivana Petrovic. Jamie Lynn Horth are like a minus 210 favorite. They got fight over two and a half at a minus 445. And they got the fight going the distance, you know, real chalky. It's at a minus 400. The reason why is because women fights, it's 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 hard for women to get finishes inside the cage. So with this one, I definitely think the fight's going the distance. The underdog took a time off. One year and, and, and some time and some change. Ivana Petrovic might have some more stuff to add to her game. But fighting in Edmonton, Canada, I think this is going to be a spot for Jamie Lynn Hurf to go ahead and get the win. And I think the fight goes the distance in that one. Next fight taking place, Chad Ellinger taking on Cody Gibson. Chad Ellinger, big underdog, representing Canada. Cody Gibson, minus 185 on the books. The over 2.5 is at a minus 220. The under 2.5 is at a plus 160, plus 170 if that, you know, some books got it at that. All right, so let's talk about Gibson in this spot. Gibson's coming off a win against Brian Keller. That's nothing to really hang your hat upon because Brian Keller's been finished more times than anybody as of late. Chad Ellinger, though, he's a good underdog to where... If you let your foot off the gas for a minute, he's going to go out there and push that cardio and push that pace. He's coming off a win uh, against Gregorius in his last fight out. In this one, though, I do see the fight going over two and a half rounds. Um, as long as, you know, Cody Gibson doesn't get the submission early on, I do see this one going to the scorecards. And I think this one is going to go the distance. And I like Cody Gibson in that one. All right, next fight taking place. Siri Sadi taking on Garrett Armfield. Siri Sadi, slight favorite, minus 140. Garrett Armfield, the comeback on him, uh, plus 120. The over two and a half is out of minus 188, and the under two and a half is out of plus 145. Folks, think we got it right here. I like the over two and a half in this one. Yeah, uh, Garrett Armfield is a guy that's gonna give you a, a fight that you want on your feet. He's gonna give you counter strikes. Okay, um, he might. Mix in a takedown because Siri CD, uh, you know, might struggle with that. But Siri CD is a guy that's going to come forward. He's going to push the pace. Uh, you know, he's uh, coming off of a loss his last time fighting in this one uh, in, in his backyard in Canada. And Garrett Armfield, last time he was in Canada, he got to win. To be honest, man, I like the dog in this one. And I like the over two and a half in that one. Let's go, man. All right, man. Hope you guys are having a good Halloween out there. Make sure you guys smash the like button, man. Because over here at Tony Picks... We're just trying to give you guys exclusive content and the best stuff, you know, that you guys can bet on. Everything in MMA related. That's why we got the MMA Mafia. And that's where we make money anyway. And that's what we're going to do today. Next fight taking place. Alexander Romanov taking on Rodrigo Nascimento. The over one and a half side of minus 200 and the under one and a half side of plus 154. It's a pick em on both sides, okay? Um, you got a real heavy orientated grappler in Romanov. And then you got a striker in Nascimento. Oh, man. To be honest, man, this fight could go either way. I like Romanov. Um, the over one and a half to me at two at minus 200 is a little bit tricky because Romanov could get you down on the ground and Nascimento might not have an answer for that. Um, so I lean the under. Give, yeah, I lean the under in that one. Um, the uh, Yeah, give me the under one and a half in that one, man. Um, I'll take the under one and a half at plus money, plus 154. I really like fight not going the distance. But my pick in the Alexander Romanov. In Nasamente fight, 
That fight's not going the distance. Bet it. Don't regret it. Next fight taking place. Jack Shore taking on Yusuf Zalal. All right, man. So Yusuf Zalal, big favorite. Minus 300 on the books. Okay. In this one, they got the over 2.5 at a minus 290. And they got the under 2.5 at a plus 220. Let's talk about it for a minute. Yusuf Zalal. He's been on a war path as of late. He's been finishes an opponents before he used to always go to the decision. Jack Shore, he's been coming on the short end of the stick. Um, stepping up in this new weight class, he really hasn't acclimated to it yet. I love Yusuf Zalao in this spot. I think he's a solid parlay piece. Um, yeah. And in this one, man, this is a little bit tricky, man, because Yusuf Zalao been finishing his opponents. Oh, man. The over two and a half out of minus 290. Man, they... Let's see... I think this one, um, I can see this one getting to the scorecards. Uh, yeah, unless Jack Short gets, man. Yusuf Zalal just been finishing people, man. Um, nah, man. Uh, let's get some plus money, man. Um, the narrative is this. Yusuf Zalal has been finishing opponents, man. He's not the same fighter as he was before, as I said in my was previous video. So with that being said, Let's go ahead and take the fight not going the distance, man. And Yusuf Zalal wins inside the distance. That's going to be a good plus money price tag, too. All right, next fight taking place. We got Charles Air Jordan taking on Victor Henry. Charles Jordan is going to be the Canadian fighter. They got the over 2.5 at a minus 315. Um, you know, and, you know, the comeback on Charles Jordan is minus 140. Both these guys are talented strikers. It's going to be... A, a, a battle of two fighters that's going to stand in the ring and probably throw about 89 to 100 strikes, you know. And whoever's going to come out on the better end of the stick is going to be the guy that's not going to wear the more damage, you know. Um, and who can mix in a little bit more things instead of just the striking. Eric Jordan is a high-talented uh, striker who likes to throw flying knees and stuff like that. Victor Henry's a guy who fought out here in my backyard where I'm from. Know a lot about him. Um, I look at it like this. The level of opponents, both these guys fight. Victor Henry's only got four fights in the UFC. But his two wins over two opponents like Tony Gravely and Rosani uh, Barcelos is better than damn near anybody that Jordan beat except for one opponent. And Troy, I like Victor Henry in this spot. And um, I like fight going the distance in this one. Yeah, next fight taking place. Ariana Lipsky. Uh, taking on Jasmine Jodavicis. Jasmine Jodavicis, minus 230 on the books. Canadian fighter. Um, you know, she's going to have a crowd behind her. They got the over 2.5 at a minus 290. Um, women's fight usually go the distance. The finish side would be on Ariana Lipsky. Jasmine Jodavicis usually goes the decision in a lot of her fights. She's, uh, uh, she's a big specimen for this division. Her height and reach gives fighters problems. And then she's aggressive, man. Relentless with the takedowns. Gives me Jasmine Jasmine Vicious to win by decision in this one. But this is a fight to where Ariana Lipsky is a live dog. Um, and I think the odds is a little bit off. I think Jasmine should be around like minus 160, minus 170 a little bit on that one, you know. But I do like Jasmine Jada Vicious in this fight. Next one taking place. Almin Sahabi taking on Pedro Munoz. Man, this line then flipped. It went back and forth, back and forth. Now you, I think got Zahabi as the favorite. The over two and a half. Juice to the gills, minus 475. The reason why Petro Munoz fights always go to decision. Uh, Zahabi fights usually go to the decision, besides that other knockout that he got. In this one, I think the fights go in the distance. And um, it's kind of a veteran versus not even a, a up-and-comer, just another guy in the division in Zahabi. Um, I, I, yeah, man. Um, give me Zahabi in that one as well. Next fight taking place. We got Mike Mallet taking on Trevin Giles in this one. They got Mike Mallet, big favorite, 285 on the books. Uh, the over one and a half at a minus 150, under one and a half at a plus 120. Let's talk about it. Found another one. I like the over one and a half in this one. Mike Mallet is a guy that usually finishes his opponents early and quick. But last time, he didn't wasn't able to do that. He got finished in the third round against Neil Magny. Hence, to make me think that now he's going to slow down a little bit and put a pause on the gas tank because he knows, hey, he can't go out there and put it all out there in those first two rounds because if you don't get the finish, you might have to get it by decision. And that was his like, first time going to the third round, and he's seen what happened. He's taking on a tough veteran in uh, Trevin Giles, man. Um, I just, I'm just reluctant to bet on Mike Mallet at this price tag just because of the opponent, too. Like, Trevin Giles can, 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 can be live sometimes. But I think Mike Mallet wins inside the distance. Um, but I do think it gets over the one and a half as well. 
So, yeah, man. Uh, let's go ahead and get it, man. Uh, give me the over one and a half. And uh, fight not going the distance. Fight is not going the distance in that one. All right. Next fight. We got Mark andre Barriott taking on Dustin Stolfitz. Uh, Mark andre Barriott, minus 190 on the books. Dustin Stolfitz, plus 170. Over two and a half. It's going to be at a minus 140. Over two and a half. Hmm. Under two and a half, plus 114. Mark andre Barriott. Uh, he can get finished, you know, um, hmm, Stofus, he got finished in his last fight against Bruno Ferreira, uh, man, but this is a fight to where I think it's going the distance, though, uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, I do think the over two and a half, uh, is play, and I do think the fight goes the distance in that one, next fight, Kyle Machado taking on Brandison Ribeiro, Kyle Machado minus 140 on the books, Brandison Ribeiro plus 124, all right, the over one and a half is going to be at a minus 175. The under one and a half is going to be at a plus 135. So in this one, two fighters to wear opposites, okay? Ribeiro usually fights, don't go the distance. Oh, okay, it's going to finish in the first round. Machado, all his fights go the distance. And it's the same pace. So in this one, you got the over one and a half at a minus 175. I think it gets there in this one, man. Um, as long as Ribeiro doesn't catch him early on in that first round, um, yeah, I think Machado could stay on that bike, you know, stay at that pace and make this a little bit boring fight and win by decision. Next fight taking place. We got Derek Lewis taking on Janata Denise. I know everybody out there knows Derek Lewis, the Black Beast. Y'all know Black Beast? All right, man. Derek Lewis is a big underdog in this one. Plus 145. Coming up against uh, Janata Denise, who's undefeated, right? Talented kickboxer and Denise taking on a heavy hitter and Derek Lewis. The over one and a half side, plus 100. The under one and a half side of minus 130. Give me the under in this one. Give me the under. Um, give me fight not going the distance for sure. But the under one and a half is still a little tricky. But I do think it gets there. I don't think these guys are going to stand too long. Two talented strikers. Um, but the safest, give me under two and a half. <laughs> but, you know, the odds that we like for the for the... For the purpose, we'll go with the under one and a half. You can get that at a minus 130 at a, at a lot of books out there as well, okay? So a lot of these odds that I'm going over, you can get them on DraftKings. You can get them on FanDuel. You can get them on my bookie. You can get them on Bovada. You can get them on any book out there, okay? So just do your best and shop around. All right, and then that one, give me the Black Beast. I think the Black Beast going to win by KO, okay? I usually never pick the Black Beast, but it's Halloween, and it's spooky, and it's scary, and I'm doing something different. So give me the Black Beast to win by KO. Yeah. All right, Derek Lewis, that is. Cold main event time, Aaron Blasfield taking on Rose Namanunas. Good fight, great fight. Over 4.5 is going to be minus 280. The under 4.5 is plus 210. They got Aaron Blasfield minus 130 as the favorite in here. Man, I've been going back and forward on this fight, back and forth, back and forth. Started off with Aaron Blasfield, because that's somebody I always I like to bet. You know, I only lost with her once, right? And I thought this was a good matchup for her. But as the week came, I'm switching to Rose, man. I just think that um she's going to have too good of a footwork for Aaron Blasfield. And if Aaron Blasfield, which we've seen, isn't able to get those takedowns, she's just not the same fighter at all, at all. And um, Rose Namunas is one of the best, um you know, best female fighters. So let's go ahead. Uh... It hurts me to say, but I think uh, Rose Namanunas wins, and uh, Gimme Fight goes the distance in that one. Yeah, fight going the distance in the five-round fight. Main event time. Everybody, smash the like button for me. But if you guys want to get my bets, this is what you need to do. Hit us up at Tony Picks right here. I got my three-day pass. I'm putting my picks in a, a three three package pick for you guys. I mean, we cleared the board last week. We've been, we've been doing our thing in MMA. So if you guys want my exclusive like three-pick package, you guys know what to do. This is exactly what I'm betting on. I'll give you my exclusive ins and outs. Main event time. Brandon Moreno steps back in the cage, taking on Amir Obazi. Brandon Moreno, minus 170 on the books. All right, so in this one, the over 4.5 is at a minus 230. They think in a fight going the distance when you see numbers and odds like that. Brandon Moreno is a guy that can go five rounds, but can Amir Obazi? We don't know. He's coming off of a neck surgery that he hasn't fought in the cage in about a year. Um... I was liking our bossy earlier on, like when I first heard about this fight. I don't know what it is, but then like as the week came, I'm just like, man, this guy really hasn't been training in the cage 
and coming off of a big neck surgery like that, that's not like, okay, I'm repairing my, you know, got, 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 got a leg injury or something, like a neck injury. That can really set back everything. And who knows, man, when you really get hit or when you get in those positions, how your body's going to react to it, you know, in that first that first fight back. Give me Brandon Moreno in this one. And um, give me fight not going the distance in that one. All right. So I'm going to give you guys my, my distance parlay, okay? These are the fights that I think that's not going to go the distance. Give me Derek Lewis and Janate Danese. Let's parlay that. Give me Trevin Giles and Mike Mallet. That fight not going the distance. And then give me Alexander Romanoff and Nasamente. That fight not going the distance. Parlay all three of those. Meet me at the window and let's get paid. MMA locker room here. Happy Halloween. Trick or treat. Or let's just win these bets so we can get something to eat.